Hi, I'm James Porter, and this is the last challenge video. This is the video where you will learn how to divide triple digit numbers with a 100 bead abacus. This gets a little confusing, and you will probably need a sheet of paper just as a warning for now. But if you have made it this far, I am really proud of you. Let's get started. We're going to start by dividing 366 divided by 61. Let's start by forming the first number, 366. 366. There we go. Now we need to start and have a sheet of paper. Start off by writing down the equation you're trying to do. 366 divided by 61. And let's start tallying, and it can be for notes as well later on. So 1 and 6. There is one. We have formed and one bead, one tally. There's 61. Now we need to move 110, 100 and move the tens back. Then we need another 61. There's 61 again. Move one bead over and add one tally. And then we need one, two, three, four. We can mark that on our sheet of paper. And so we have 4. Now we need to subtract another 100 and move the tens back and continue 5, 6. And we can move a third bead over and we can make a third tally. And don't forget, even when you're doing these little numbers, you gotta just divide by the whole thing. I missed the 1 on this one. Before I've missed the upper digit, now I missed the 1. Now we need to divide 1 and 2, 4, 6, and now we're down, we've got 4, 4 beads, 4 tallies, and so we've got 1, 2, we need to move one more tan bead, cross off the 4, and we can mark 2 as our notes, move the tens beads back, and 1, 2, 3, 4, because it's actually 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, don't forget to subtract one more, add a blue bead, add a tally, and we've got 61 left, add one more blue bead, and one more tally, giving us the answer of 6. Your abacus should look something like this, and your tally sheets should look something like this. Alright, let's move on. We're going to try 888 divided by 74. So let's start 888. We've formed the first number and we have to divide by 74. Let's start 4 and 7. We need a new sheet. Don't forget, add a bead, add a tally. But if you haven't already, write down the equation so you can remember it. 888 divided by 74. And this can be your notes sheet, this can be your tally sheet, anything you need. All right, let's continue on. We can subtract four over there. One, let's write down one to remember. Uh, subtract one 100 bead, move 10, 10 beads back, and then continue from one to go two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, only seven. Only seven on this one. There's another 74. Bead, tally. There's two groups. But now we need to subtract a 10 and add 10 ones back. Need to get rid of four ones. One, two, three. I'm going to cross off the one, write down three after that so I can remember. We need to subtract a 100 and add these ones back and continue from three to get to seven. Four, five, six, seven. Add another blue bead. Add another tally. We are at three. Let's continue again. Four, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna cross off the three, write down six to remember, subtract 100, add 10 back, and go seven. There we go, now we can add another fourth, and a fourth tally. Four beads, four tallies. Let's continue, one, two. We need to subtract a 10 bead. 
three, four. We've done four. I didn't write down two, but you can if you need to. Need then then we need to get rid of seven. Two, four, six, seven. Got another bead. Five beads, five tallies. Let's continue again. Four, one. I'm going to cross off the six, write one down underneath to remember. We can subtract a hundred, add the ten green beads back, and then we need to subtract six more because we're starting from one, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven. Don't forget the seven. Then we can add another bead and another tally. Let's do it again. Four, one, two, three, four. I'm gonna cross off one, write four to remember it, subtract a hundred, go one, two, four, five, six, seven. We need to subtract another one as well because we need more ones to work with. All right, we can add a bead, add a tally, seven beads, seven tallies. Let's continue on. Subtract four, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna cross off the four, write down six. Subtract a hundred, move the tens back, and we need to subtract one to give us seven. Move another bead. Another tally. Eight. Need to subtract another 74. Four, two, four, six, seven. Another bead. Another tally. Nine, one, two. We need to add, subtract a 10. Write down the two. Cross off the six if you need to. Bring the ones back. Continue from two to get to four. Three, four. Now we need to get to seven, one. I'm gonna cross off the two, write down the one, and continue subtracting 100, and then adding the 10 hundreds, 10 tens, and starting from one, we need to get to seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's 10. We now have 10 beads. And so we have a slight dilemma. We started at the top, so what we can do instead, we know, we know that one bead from the row above equals 10 beads of the row below. So if we get rid of all of these beads we, and go to the red row for the next row, we can continue and this will be our tens place and this will be our ones place. So it all works out in the end. All right, let's continue. Four, one, two, three, four. Cross off the one, write down four. Subtract 100, move the tens back. Counting from four, we need to get to seven. Five, six, seven. Add a red bead and then add another tally. Let's continue and we've got three, four, five, six, seven, 74. Add one more red bead, one more tally. As you may have found out or seen already, our answer is 12. This is what your abacus should look like somewhat. This is what your tally sheet should look like. All right, let's do our last problem together. We're going to do 985 divided by 197. This is a harder problem, but we can make it. So let's form the first number, 985. 2, 4, 5, 2, 4, 6, 8, 2, 4, 6, 8. 985, and we need to, need to subtract 197. So 2, 4. First off, before we start subtracting, take your sheet of paper, write the equation at the top, and then we need to just be ready for whatever comes out there. So 985 divided by 197. All right, now we can start. We can go two, four, five. I'm gonna make a note of the five on the side and continue. Subtract a 10, move these 10 back and go six, seven. All right, now we need to subtract nine from the tens place. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
7, I'm going to cross off the 5, write down the 7, subtract another 100, move the 10 tens back, and continue from 7 to get to 9. Let's go 8, 9. All right, now we need to just subtract 1 from the hundreds place. All right, we can move one blue bead over, mark one tally. We have created one group of 197. Let's subtract another group, 2, 4, 6, 7, 2, 4, 6, 8. Subtract one 100 bead. Well, let's first, before we do that, write down the number 8. Now I've subtracted a tan bead, one 100. Move the tens back and continue from 8 to 9. So 9, there we go. And we need to subtract 1. Another blue bead. Another tally. All right, let's continue. We have one yellow bead. So we need to cross off 8 and write down 1. Let's move 1, subtract 1 green bead. Move the 10 yellow beads back. And we need to get to 7. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, now we need to subtract nine from the green, 10 row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Cross off the one, write eight. Subtract one, 100, add 10 tens back, and we go nine. Now we need to subtract one more 100, and we can move another bead over. Three beads, three tallies. Let's continue. One, two, three, four. Cross off the eight. I'm going to write down four. Subtract one 10 bead. Move the 10 tens back and continue from four to get to seven. Five, six, seven. Now in the next row, we need to subtract nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm going to cross off the four, write down eight below that, and then we can subtract one 100 and move the 10 tens back and go from eight to nine, nine. Don't forget, we have to subtract one for the hundreds place and move a beat over, mark a tally. We are down to our last set, I do believe, two, four, six, seven, two, four, six, eight, nine, one. That was 197, move one beat over, mark a tally, write down your number, circle it for emphasis, and we have five as our answer. Your abacus should look like this. Your tally sheet should look something like this. I'd like to thank you for joining me in all of my videos. You have now mastered the abacus. I am James Porter signing off for the last time, but remember, a broken abacus is no one's best friend because no one can count on it.